okay this is the question given in the previous gate paper in the year of 2006 in the year of 2006 that is given for the two marks okay basic two marks and two marks there are basically this is the linked question the cam common data is given as the am equation is given that is nothing but consider the following amplitude modulated am signal am signal where fm less than b where x of amt equal to 10 into 1 plus 0 0.5 sin 2 pi fmt cos 2 pi fct okay the first question is find out the, the average sideband power for the am signal given above okay this is the given am equation now okay for general equation we will write the, the standard equation for the am signal that is x of t am equal to that is ac into 1 plus mu into cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct where cos 2 pi fct is the carrier signal cos 2 pi fmt is the message signal where mu is the modulation index and ac is the amplitude of the carrier signal now compare the given equation with the standard general equation then we will get the parameter values ac equal to 10 volts that is nothing but this 10 volts and the mu value mu value equal to mu equal to 0 0.5 this is the mu value now for this one find out the average sideband power the average sideband power is denoted by p of sp that is the power corresponding to the upper sideband and lower sideband the formula for the upper sideband and lower sideband is mu square ac square by 8 plus mu square ac square by 8 okay this is the upper sideband power this is the lower sideband power combinedly this is nothing but mu square is ac square sorry mu square ac square mu square ac square by 4 now substitute the mu value and ac value in the equation we will get the the sideband power that equal to that mu equal to 0 0.5 whole square into that ac equal to 10 square by 4 okay that equal to that 0 0.25 into 100 by 4 that equal to 25 by 4 that equal to 6.25 watts okay that is the required answer here if we observe the answer is c okay this is the solution for the first question next we will see the second question okay here the second question is given as the am signal the am signal gets added to a noise with a spectral density of s of n of f given in the figure below mm, the ratio of average sideband power to mean noise power will be okay here this is the given noise signal power spectrum density okay the ampli maximum peak amplitude with the noise signal is n naught by 2 these are the frequency distribution okay to find out the mean noise power we have to observe the area under power spectral density curve for the given noise function okay for this one okay the noise power equal to the noise power just assumed as noise power equal to pn that equal to area under power spectral density curve okay power spectral density curve okay this is the given power spectral density curve suppose if we observe this power spectral density curve just observe this one here this is the one triangular from the frequency fc to fc minus f minus b okay here also one more totally like that there are four triangles are there okay the with the triangular height for the common that is n naught by 2 and the width for the any difference with two consecutive frequencies nothing but the b that is considered as the width okay now the area or the noise power equal to this one there are totally four triangulars that is four into the area of the triangular equal to one by two into the height that is nothing but n naught by two into b 
okay here this two this two is cancelled with four then the remaining is n not b this is the noise bigger noise power now the required ratio equal to average sideband power by noise power we already calculated sideband power equal to 6.25 that is nothing but the 225 by 4 by the noise power equal to n not b that is equal to 25 by 4 into n not into b okay now the answer is 25 by 4 n not b that is the b